The situation in uh, Yemen is uh, getting from very bad to worse uh, because at the moment, uh, and especially if a military offensive against uh, the port city of Hodeida proceeds, as we expect it will, then the risk that half the population will dip into outright famine. And this is a, the script has been written. Uh, we have been saying all along that this is the almost unavoidable outcome of a military offensive against Hodeida, where the Houthis are ensconced in the city. So the primary objective is to halt an offensive on Hodeida. But, uh, of course, that is not enough because already the situation is dire in the country. We need to bring this war to an end. Now, the first step toward that is a ceasefire, a ceasefire in Hodeida, and then talks in Sweden. They're preliminary talks, but can lead to more substantive talks down the line, and then uh, a nationwide ceasefire. And in order to accomplish that, we are calling on all sides to, first of all, uh, observe uh, the rules of the game when it comes to humanitarian matters. So no disrupting of supply lines, no attacking of facilities, no blocking of access to humanitarian organizations that want to reach vulnerable populations. We are calling on the, on the US government in particular and the Congress, which has already started to take some action, to, um, to put pressure on the Trump administration to stop military support of the coalition in uh, Yemen uh, to, to prohibit inner refueling and also to sanction anyone who um, disrupts uh, humanitarian supply lines who otherwise targets them. 